Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, yesterday, ooh, wow, look at this. We got some perfect pairs outside. Um, and a Raja, Brook, and a Hole. There's so much stuff going on. Yesterday, I managed to get uh, enough bells from uh, catching fish and crap on the island <laughs> and bugs uh, to pay off the Suspension Bridge Public Works Project. So that is what we're going to go check out today, and among other things. And just see how the town's doing. Before I get too far ahead of myself, there's some stuff inside I want to show you. Mira, get out of here. These are my perfect fruit. Oh, I was trying to get rid of my item, but I kept switching through them. Okay, we're going to keep planting these perfect pears until we have a ton of perfect pears is my goal, basically. I'm going to grab these cherries as well from the original cherry tree that barely survived behind Nan's house. And we're going to head over here. I'm going to go in my house real quick to show you guys. So I paid off the, the suspension bridge. That means I can start another public works project, but I might focus on getting my house upgraded before I do that one. So, uh, as you can see, I turned my mushroom, because the, uh, the ha happy house people told me it was bad to have it facing the wall. So, uh, even though you can see it better. I've got my raccoon clock up top, obviously. And, uh, you'll notice my master sword next to it. Now, there's a weird glitch where there's so many sounds going in my house that sometimes it interrupts the master sword sound. But let's hear it in all its glory. Oh, see, it cut it off. There you go. So you hear the whole thing, but a lot of times when you push it, see, it just cuts off because there's like two clocks going, there's a frog, there's a water bird, there's the prana plant. There's just so many sounds that I think it won't let it play all the way. Same happens with the Metroid and some of the other sounds. That one played okay. Anyways, uh, I also got this time clock that I'm probably going to put for sale in retail. It is basically like a punch clock for a business. Like, if I turn it around, you guys can see it better. You just put your, <laughs> your little card in there. It goes... Like an old-fashioned punch clock. Anyways, that's my house. Still looking as wild and weird as ever. Um, we're going to head over to some of the shops. Oh, first, let's, let's check out the suspension bridge and see how it's going. I'm hoping it is... Uh, going well. I'm going to stack my perfect fruit and my cherries real quick, just so I have a bit more room. I got to make sure I water. Oh, the butts are ripe back there. You can see some of the peaches. The butts are ripe and ready to be plucked from the branches. Just get this hole as I go by. And hopefully the new suspension bridge is done. I didn't check the map. Yep, it looks like it is done. I thought we were going to have like some type of crazy ceremony or something, but it looks like it might be done without any Hoorah. Yep, here we go. Yay, we can walk right across. Awesome. Now I can get to the beach super quick and back to my home. And already another villager's moving in. It is Pinky. I think that is. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I have eight. That's nine. I think that's my max villagers unless I build the campground. So that's pretty cool. Before we get too far, let's head over to Isabelle's, uh, the, the town hall. <laughs> and I'm going to sit in my chair and see what other public works projects we can start now. I want to try to start something a little easier this time, like not crazy expensive like the suspension bridge was. I felt like I really needed that bridge, uh, but let's try something else. Oh, Mayor, I just remembered. The townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony to celebrate completing the suspension bridge project. And considering you're the one who made all this possible, we want you to attend. What do you say? I'd be happy to. You can just pass on it. I was really hoping you'd say that because I kind of already finished the preparations. <laughs> all right, let, let's head to the site for the ceremony, shall we? Okay, so I knew they were going to do some type of ceremony for this, but uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, only a few showed up. Man, Graham's not even here. Uh, Tangy's not here. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the grand completion ceremony for Gustin's vital suspension bridge project. <laughs> it's not all that vital. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. I'm Isabel, and I'll be your host today. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> I like how some of their hands don't even touch. Thank you, thank you, you're too kind. You're going to keep this short and sweet. Oh, so we're going to keep this short and sweet, so let's jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our very own mayor. Take it away, Mayor Adam. We did it. Hooray for everyone. On to the next project. Um, Hooray for everyone. Even though I'm the only one that paid for it. <laughs> well said, Mayor. Yeah, quite away with words. Okay, moving on. Everyone, please locate that item we passed out earlier and get ready. Oh, what is this? And now, to celebrate the completion of the public works project and all the hard work that made this possible. Ready, set, pop. Whoa, we're gonna litter all into the river. 
All the fish are going to choke on the confetti. That concludes our ceremony. Thanks, everyone, for all your hard work and for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here. All four of you. Jeez. It's only like half the village. I think they could have turned out. Okay. Well, they're still here. Let's take a talk to them. Glad you came, Cranston. Hey, 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 chap. This is the perfect weather for chilling outside. Seriously, sweat man. So anyway, what's up? I heard a rumor about you. Everyone's saying you're kind of a pro listener. <laughs> I'm jealous, so I wish I was popular enough to, for people to gossip about sweatband. Oops, didn't mean to talk to you again. <laughs> Just hanging out here. What's going on, Elvis? How you doing? Hey, chap. I'm impressed to see that you're surviving. So did you need something? Yeah, they're not going to talk about my cool bridge. It's in a man's nature to fish. I want to catch bigger fish than any man has ever caught before. Alright, I'll leave you to that. Hey, how's it going, ladies? Like that bridge? Whoa! Are these some special posies that were made? Let me check them out. Orange pan pansies. <laughs> I thought they were posies. Okay. But they are a nice hybrid from those. That's cool. So yeah, uh, let's, let's start the next public works project before I head off and uh, do all the normal town, townly business and everything. Uh, check out all the shops and stuff like I like to do. So what should we start next? I didn't really think about this, and maybe we'll, we've opened up some more. I don't know, you have to do certain things to open up uh, some of the more important public works projects, but we'll see. Okay. What would I like to work on? Let's start a new project. So we can demol it. Let's demolish the bridge immediately. So we got cobblestone bridge, suspension bridge, yellow bench. The bench is pretty cheap, but I don't know. Water well, park clock, street lamp. I like the campsite idea. I'm, I'm leaning towards that. Fence, fire hydrant, customs design sign, face cut out, and do not enter sign. The custom sign I could put out front and be like Mayor's House or something. I think I'm going to go for the campsite. It's a little more conservative and it looks cool. And uh, it's not as, you know, not as crazy as the last project. It's more doable. My, my sights were set a little too high last time. You won't be able to demolish the campsite project once it's finished. Shall we start? Oh, man. Once it's there. I wonder if it's because there's a villager always staying there at the campsite. Let's find a place to build it. Okay. So we're going to try to find a spot to lay down the campsite. But we got to choose a good spot because, like she said, we can't de demolish it afterwards. Um, I'd say maybe like... Hmm, Somewhere where I don't really care to build anything else would be preferable. Let's use my new suspension bridge to go over here. I, I feel like maybe I should have done a cobble bridge so that it, you know, would, would match. But, oh well. I think the, the suspension bridge is unique looking. Now we know how to tell the two bridges apart when we're talking about them. <laughs> so, uh, I want the campsite to be kind of secluded. Maybe it can overlook this this ridge over here, past Graham's house. How about where this pear tree live is right here? Let's see if she'll let me put it right here. What she got to say? It's about where you'd like to put the pants. Yep. What do you think? Too close to the river. I think it would be very difficult to place the project here. Empty section of land that's two left and two right. It's another five spaces back. Okay, I need a lot of space. We'll, we'll screw that. I'm going to dig this up while I'm here. It's a fossil. Um, we might have to go somewhere farther up and not just in this little secluded river establishment. I, I wanted it to be on its own. Let's see. Maybe near... I feel like it needs to be in the, the heart of the town a little bit, like in the wilderness, if it's a campsite. Let's grab that. Just pick, don't, wind, don't mind me, Isabel, just doing my normal duties here as I, as I go through. Man, there's another hole there. Oh no, it's a pitfall! Oh my god, she got a shocked face. Help me! Help me, Isabel! Jeez! I'm dying! <laughs> you did nothing. She just watched me fall in. That's probably one of the few times you'll be able to see Isabel watch you fall into a, uh, a hole there. How about here? How's this look? I can get rid of these pears later. How about this? Yes, Mayor, is this about where we'd like? I want to see what it'll look like. She said it would be perfect. 
Okay. Probably looks something like this when it's finished. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I want it to be like closer on its own. That looks too close to Elvis's house. Okay, let's move in a little bit more. How about like right? I want it to be like on the cliff. I think that would be cooler. Like right about here. Let's see if this has enough room. Try it out. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. Ba -ba -da -ba. That looks better. Yep, let's try that. Just gonna get rid of the uh, the trees and stuff there, so I should grab those pears while I still can. Oh, nope, they're already gone. <laughs> okay, so I shouldn't need too much more money to get the campsite going. I just actually want to focus on expanding my house a little first. Luckily, we didn't destroy these uh, these flowers here that just popped up from nowhere. Okay, there goes that pear tree, though. Oh, well. let's. Uh, I'll head on over to retail, and then when we're back... I'll be in Main Street, checking out the shops. Oh, a gyroid! Because it rained! It's a milli, mini alloy. I'm going to have to go check that out. Okay, see you guys in a sec. Alright, guys, so we're in the shopping district. We're in Main Street. Uh, got a few things i got to remember today. For one, uh, I'm actually going to hit a Nookling Junction sale, luckily. It's after four, and that is, uh, is when their sale is. But another thing i got to remember... Today is Tangy's birthday, and I need to send her something. I haven't sent her anything yet. Ooh, it looks like Kanada's jacket from, like, yeah. It looks like, uh, it's from, whatchamacallit, Akira. <laughs> Let's try that on. This racing jacket. It's kind of cool, I guess. Eh, I guess I'll buy it just to... <laughs> oh, put back that Luigi one, and it made that noise. Like, I wasn't expecting that brown formal pants. Let's try those on. Looks like there's some mummy wraps back there. Eh, I'm not a huge fan of those. They're okay, I guess. I've gotta get these mummy wraps, though. Mummy pants. <laughs> there's a giant A shirt. That's strange. I guess that would suit me, kind of, but... I've just been... It's the year of Luigi, guys, so I gotta wear the Luigi shirt for a little bit. Eh. It looks kind of like that would be my sleeping clothes. Maybe I'll get that. <laughs> I just need some, like, sleeping pants. This is my sleeping outfit. Let's see how Sable's doing. Oh, Adam, welcome! If you feel terrible that you take time out of your day to come see me, yet I never have a single moment to chat. The profit margin on our clothing is so low, no matter how hard I work, I feel like I get nowhere. That's really sad. <laughs> Hold up a sec, sis. Haven't we had this conversation before? Let's just outsource it to India or China or something. Make something high quality and make it fast and on the cheap. Sound familiar? Who says those exact words like they're quickly going out of style? But, but, Mabel, uh, you take pride in your work like I do, right? I mean, our hearts go into making our clothes, don't they? So don't you want to be able to offer them for a low price that customers will prefer? <laughs> this sounds like a commercial, an infomercial or something. Uh, the lowest price? How can we offer them so low? Ugh, the customers might be just fine with it. But you aren't, sis. You're, you aren't a machine. Look, let's just forget about it. I've always loved that work and be mentality of yours anyways. Hmm. What? Come again, Mabel? Did you say something? <laughs> I was lost in thought here, thinking about my work, so I didn't hear you. Hehehe, <laughs> I didn't say words, sis. You just keep on working. And some passive aggression going on. Man, this story is escalating pretty quickly. Let's head over to the accessories and see if we can find something nice for Tangy. She can't really wear accessories, I don't think. Whoa! There's a pilot's hat. And what is this? Glasses? I feel like I have these glasses already. And those creepy eyes. This is the crown that Danielle really wants, but it's so expensive. It's a million bells. No way I can, I can get that. But this pilot hat's pretty cool. I might get that. Let's try it on real quick. I like my sleeping cap, but might as well get that the pilot hat while I'm at it. I'm trying to think of something for Tangy, though. Maybe Tangy would like this umbrella. It's a nice lacy parasol. She, she might like that. Let's get it. And then we'll send that to her. Okay. Thanks, LaBelle. See you later. I like how her name actually doesn't have the L-E, but she probably put that on to like seem fancier when she worked for Gracie Grace. Anyways, let's head and check out Leaf in his gardening shop. Uh, what do you want to bet? He's got a flower, a flower, a tree, and an axe. Nope, it's a watering can. Wow, okay. He surprised me for once. Let's grab these flowers from him. Yellow lily. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I almost feel like I'm just throwing this guy a bone or a bell just by buying his 
I'll be, I'll be stocked up on enough on flowers where if I have a lot die, I should be able to like make a garden easily still. I'm just gonna grab the sapling while I'm at it. I don't know why, I, other than for appearances, it doesn't seem worth planting plants outside of fruit plants. Alright, see ya buddy. I don't need an extra watering can. Goodbye. I probably could have one uh, just to keep around, but I don't really need it. Let's head into Nookling Junction before we get going. Oh, well, we gotta head into Nook's Homes as well, of course, to check that out. But let's see. Ooh, nice little... Ugh, that bench is... Oh, we're having a special right now. The bench is horrible. I guess it's okay. It's just... It's a keep it bench. <laughs> I don't really like this green end table, but it would be good for feng shui, so I don't know if I should get it or not. I'll take it, I guess. I'll put it in the corner. Sometimes I, I sacrifice having a good house design to, to have good karma or whatever. <laughs> good chi balance. Let's check out this fortune cookie. Nom 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 nom. I don't even drop the leaf out of my ha my mouth. That's how good I am at eating those fortune cookies now. He who wishes to grow big would be ra wise to eat his roughage. Okay. Roughage. It's probably a red mushroom, I'm guessing. Oh, let's see. He didn't he charged me two. Shouldn't the play coins be like half off too? We'll see what we're gonna give this little guy. I guess, yeah, I got that green thing for a lot cheaper. Super mushroom, just as I thought. I'm getting a lot of Mario things now. Danielle got Majora's mask, Midna's hat, and Fee's mask. Like, she's only gotten Zelda stuff so far. I'm super jealous. I want Majora's mask. I gotta remember to talk to Brett, because uh, he got Majora's mask and Link's hat, and I want to trade him for that. Okay, let's head on over to the last spot here. I always have to check just to see if anyone's in here. Shake one of them trees. And we're gonna head into Nook's homes, and then my guy's gonna settle in for a little nap in his new pajamas. <laughs> so I'll take my shoes off and take a rest. Ooh, there's the mansion y one that I think I already have. Imperial door. I kinda like this this fence, but I'm not really sure on it. What is this? Is this like the mermaid colorful gravel? Nah, eh, nothing in here looks too great to me. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. I always like to play this little game of keep away with Nook. He doesn't know which way to go if I go back and forth here. Oh, he's got me there. Nope. Okay, anyways. <laughs> See you guys next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye.